Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today we're talking Nordstrom sale. The preview has finally gone live and the day that you are watching this, at least <laughs> that's my plan, this video is going to go live. So if you are icon status, you are already shopping the sale um, and then tomorrow should be ambassador and then a few days after that. You guys know how the sale goes. If you're here, you know the Nordstrom sale situation. Today we're going to actually deep dive into the things that I saw in the sale. I combed through every single page. It took hours and I found the best of the best stuff. Everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for y'all to shop, add to your wish list if you can't yet shop. And I'm going to be fully honest with you, I do have a full blog post where I share every single piece. Um, I'm not going to go through like, you know, all the little fine details of them, but I will kind of do a general overview today. If you want to see every single item, definitely check out my blog. I will have that linked in the description bar below the full post where I share all the products that I like picked and selected. Uh, but we're just going to kind of, again, do a little overview today of all the stuff that I've selected. If you're new here, make sure to go below, click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the family. I'm going to continue to cover the Nordstrom sale, um, all of the best picks and finds, but I will do a lot of that over on Instagram and like to know it and even my TikTok a little bit because um, restocks, when they happen, they do tend to sell out fast. So those are kind of where I can like quickly upload things and get that stuff out versus a YouTube video that takes like days. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I do want to say before I move forward, guys, please remember, do not put yourself into debt to be on trend this year. The whole push in this sale is to get that credit card. Um, the sale is shorter this year. You will have plenty of time to shop. The stuff will come back in stock. I see people promoting um, to impulse shop and you can just return it later if you don't like it. For me, like I have a much less chance of returning something if it comes to my house because it's, you know, I've seen it on. So impulse shopping is not a smart thing to do. Don't do it. You don't need clothing and like to be on trend that bad that you should like put yourself into debt for. So please don't do that. Wait until it opens up to the public. If you don't have, you know, the status, the credit card, anything like that, it's just, it's not worth it. And I would kick myself if I didn't say that before we get started. So some notes that I made this year, one thing I was very disappointed about the sale, there is no Tory Burch bags on sale. And every year I feel like Tory Burch comes out with like the best bags and they're on sale. And Tory Burch is like very expensive. At least when I saw the preview, it might have uploaded by the time this video goes live. But like from what I saw in the preview, there was zero Tory Burch. And I was so bummed because again, it's like a high price tag. Usually it's knocked down to a relatively better price, but still pretty high. And I do monthly giveaways on my Instagram that are like so good and I was gonna do Tory Burch bags for this giveaway like I did last year and they don't even have them so that was really disappointing they have a lot more Kate Spade this year which is good Kate Spade's a good brand uh, but they don't have Tory Burch but their shoe selection is not as exciting as I wish I was very bummed out about that I feel like they kind of counteracted their like leggings and their sweaters are over the top good this year but I wanted the booties and the boots and that's what you guys told me you wanted too and I just I feel like their booty selection it's just like very disappointing so those were kind of some notes that I made just about like what I saw in the sale Let me honest the sweaters are pretty nice lots of turtlenecks lots of thicker sweaters this year I feel like a lot of these are really good basic sweaters but I do also think we're gonna be able to find some really good looks for less on Amazon um, there is one on here I have my laptop open in front of me the one with the cut out shoulder I already have ordered an Amazon look for less um, from that and it should be in soon I actually had that sweater when I was pregnant but it was way too big on me even when I was pregnant so I ordered it in a correct size only one that I think would be a little bit harder to dupe is the one with stars that is hands down one of the most expensive sweaters that I saw I think it's like $130 even on sale which is insane because it's cashmere I believe but it is a pretty sweater um, but for the most part lots of really nice v-neck sweaters that are going to be able to be worn whether you are in a work setting you know, you're going out to dinner you are wearing something very casual I think that the sweater selection this year is very very top tier um, that top sweater if you're looking at the little graphic the top row second from the left is a free people sweater you actually don't have to wait to buy that on sale I found it on Amazon and it is only, I believe, two or three dollars um, more expensive than it will be when it's on sale on the Nordstrom sale. So you can go ahead and buy it now. You don't have to wait for the sale to go live. And I actually shared that on my TikTok the other day. So it's a really good sweater. I have it in myself. It's very thick, very, very well made. I love the neckline. I think that's going to be the one sweater that gets gone this year um, for sure. There is always kind of one, I think, free people sweater that people really obsess over. I'm betting it's that one. So sweater selection this year, very impressive. But like I've said, a lot of basics. And I do think we're going to be able to 
find a looks for less on that and I will have that video up for you guys ASAP. 185,000% you guys, the Spanx faux leather leggings. They are the best leggings. I have had my Spanx faux leather leggings since like 2018, 2019. They are superior in my opinion. Commando does make really good faux leather leggings but I'm always going to pick the Spanx just because I think they are, they don't have that high shine so they're not as dressy as the Commando but I think that's what makes them wearable even more. They do not tear up. I have the exact same pair I've owned for years. I only bought a second pair of Spanx because I just wanted to not have to wait on them to be washed all the time. Spanx for leather leggings are superior and you need to get them on the sale. Absolutely. But, and don't quote me on this. I, again, I'm, I'm all about just not going into debt and being able to find access to these things. I do believe that usually Spanx puts the leggings for sale on their website for the same price that they are on the Nordstrom website for as soon as that sale goes live. So I will put that in the description bar below if that is the case. I don't think it's something they usually publish, but last year, and I believe even the year before that, when the Spanx faux leather leggings were on sale on the Nordstrom website, even if you couldn't shop, you could get them for that exact same price on Spanx website. So don't feel like you have to buy them from Nordstrom. You have to wait if you want to get them on sale, but don't quote me on that. The faux leather skirts are amazing this year. I really want that orange one that you're seeing. It actually was really cute, the outfit that they have on the model. It's like the orange skirt. She's wearing like a black long sleeve, like bodysuit and white booties. I think it is so adorable. So that one is on my wish list for when the sale goes live. Um, and apart from that, I feel like the jean selection wasn't anything great. It's not anything that you can't find from Abercrombie, but they did have some really good free people jeans that look like they are going to be super on trend for fall. So if you want to keep an eye out maybe for the free people jeans, I've never purchased any free people jeans, so I can't speak to the sizing. Uh, but for me, it's the faux leather leggings and the faux leather skirts that just look so, so nice this year. Outerwear is always something that I encourage you guys to buy because it is usually worth the investment and you can wear it tons and tons and tons of times. This year, I saw a lot of shackets. I didn't see a lot of like true staple coats that were not outrageously expensive. You guys told me that it was like $50 to $100 was kind of the range you wanted to stay within um, when I asked you guys on Instagram. So that's kind of what I tried to aim for here. As far as jackets goes, that Sherpa jacket looks so cozy. I haven't, at least as of now, been able to find a look for less, but oh my gosh, that one looks super nice. Um, the Levi's trucker jacket that you're seeing, I actually have the darker wash of the trucker jacket in the men's version. That was my papa's. I've had it for many years. He had it for many years, and when he died, that was actually something I got, and it's so special to me. And they make the same jacket for women, just in a lighter wash. So that's the jean jacket you're seeing. But apart from that, it really was just jackets um, that were kind of impressive to me. And then, of course, you can never go wrong with the blank NYC faux leather jacket. Again, I'm all about finding, you know, just like you don't have to go into debt. The blank NYC faux leather jacket, maybe not with Nordstrom Rack right now. It's almost always on sale at Nordstrom Rack after the sale ends. So if you don't get your hands on it, don't worry. But usually the price is about the same as what you're going to see it on the Nordstrom sale for. The athletic wear this year. I am loving that I'm seeing all the Free People stuff. So the Free People shorts are amazing. There are a lot of Amazon looks for less on those, but they're really, really nice workout shorts. They're very sturdy. They stay up nicely. I do recommend sizing up one size from your true size just because they are a little bit like very firm and you want a little bit of comfort. You don't want to be so like sucked into your shorts that you almost can't move or feel comfortable moving when you're working out. Um, I liked the Nike sweatshirt that you're seeing, that like really bright one. I actually have that in two colors. I have the gray and the black that I got from Nordstrom like in the winter time and I love them. The quality is top tier. The shoes are what's very impressive though. Last year was when I bought my new pair of OnClouds, the exact OnClouds that you're seeing on screen. Um, that third shoe on the bottom that you're seeing there, that is the OnClouds that I bought last year. Sneakers are always really nice on the Nordstrom sale and I feel like they are definitely worth buying on the sale because they are a deep deep discount and I'm never unimpressed with the sneakers just because I wear sneakers so much like like I work out all the time again I'm back to running again so I like to pay a lot of money for my sneakers and really use them a lot I've had those on clouds now for almost a year and they still look brand new and are so so good to run in so sneakers always a win Y'all, this is what I really, like, when I say I was bummed, I mean, I was bummed. And I love the booties that you're seeing on screen. I love the boots. But I just feel like usually the shoe collection, like last year, I was going through my boards from last year. The shoe collection was just, I mean, it was so 
nice. They had so many ranges of heel heights and boots versus booties and brands. And I feel like this year they just didn't have as many brands. So that was kind of what was frustrating to me. Those Mark Fisher boots that you're seeing right in the middle of the graphic, the white and the brown, I actually have the brown. I love them. They're really comfortable, but I feel like they're not a true like staple. You can wear them with whatever you want. So I did include the brown boots that are beside them. But again, those are like really sky high. And I was really looking for a pair of boots that were a little bit more affordable that you could wear for work and I just didn't really see that this year so that was interesting but as far as the booty selection goes up in the top left hand corner those Steve Madden booties if I don't get my hands on those I'm gonna be so irritated they are so nice again they do have like a little bit more of a western appearance to them so I'm not sure they're gonna be like a true staple shoe I'll have to kind of see when they come in um, how they look but apart from that I think the Mark Fisher I believe that's the brand of those like snakeskin brown booties looks really really nice and then of course you do have the Steve Madden um, slides with the chain on them. I like the chain but I might have found a really good look for less from Amazon. I'll have to wait and see when they come in but I really like the like tonal color of having like a black mule with the black chain and then the brown mule with the brown chain because I'm kind of over the like gold chain. I feel like we saw it two years in a row. It's kind of we've moved on from it but let me tell you if you work in an office setting those were my most worn shoes for both years. I bought a pair of the like thicker chain mules one year and then the thinner chain mules another year. And when I tell you I wore those until they literally were falling apart, like start of like day one of fall until well into spring when you still kind of had that mixed weather, I wore those mules every day, all the time. They are just really comfortable and very good quality. If you work in an office, whether you do or not, they're still great, but I think those are great office shoes for sure. So you can add those to your wish list. If you're an office working kind of gal, you will not be disappointed in them. The accessories were so impressive to me this year. The sunglasses, like the key sunnies are always good and I always love to get those on a discount deal. Um, the scarves were nice this year. You guys can see the, I think it's called like Little World, Little Words Project, that's what it is. They have bracelet sets on there, but the hat. So you can see this brown hat. That actually is the gray hat or like the taupe colored hat that I have that I wear all the time. So the brown one is on my wish list this year because I wear the gray one so much because they have sizes. I have a big head. I cannot go and just wear a regular hat. So I like that they have sizes. The large fits my big old head perfectly. So I am definitely adding that brown one to my cart this year, but the sunnies were very, very impressive. Now it is my literal dream to own one of these Michelle watches. They are so insanely expensive. Like I know you guys told me 50 to to $100 was kind of the range you were comfortable shopping in. I mean, the watches even on sale are like $2,000. It's, it's ridiculous, but I love to look at them. So I included them here. I think the one with the blue band is a few hundred. So if that's like you're looking for a gift and you want to spend that, you definitely can. But I just wanted to include them in there, just kind of manifest it for myself because it is a very expensive watch. But I love those Michelle watches. These two bags that you're seeing, those were the ones that I think are going to be like, those are going to get gone this year. Those are going to be really nice staple bags. They look like they're smaller crossbody bags, but very well made. Um, uh, the green wallet that you see on screen, I actually bought that one last year and it is like top tier in quality. Fits a ton of stuff, very durable. So I was really glad to see that they brought it back this year and they have a few more colors too. But even then, you know, sunnies, um, another black hat, just like the taupe one that I have. Um, the earrings are really great as well. So the accessories this year were highly, highly impressive. For men, just like for women, I do recommend, you know, these are gonna be pieces that are staples that you're gonna wear a lot. So I asked Sam, you know, you don't shop a lot for yourself. What's something that you would buy? And he said outerwear and shoes. So I rounded up some of the outerwear that looks like something he would wear. And he said, yes, like that vest is really nice. Um, a lot of times here in the South, at least, we really don't get that like bitter biting cold winter until like January and it usually lasts like January through March and when it bites, it bites. So you can usually wear like a long sleeve shirt and a vest for a while. Like you usually don't need a coat. Sometimes during December you will, but most of the time you're good with a vest. So that is why I included at least the vest for men here. Uh, but the shoe selection for men was very impressive. Um, those flip flops I hear great things about for men, but again, I included a pair of on clouds and then Sam actually has um, the top two like dress shoes that look like the black and then the like more gray tote pair. He actually has both of those and wears them a lot to work. Baby stuff was a huge request that you guys asked that I include in my Nordstrom sale coverage this year. So I wanted to, the Duna is 
hands down, definitely recommend if you are having a baby or, you know, your grandparent and you want to buy one. I know that that's a big hot item for grandparents. Um, we have it for Ezra. I believe it goes up to like 35 pounds and mm, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I think it's like 35 pounds and some kind of height. Um, he's not close to it, so we're not worried about it, but that's when you have to stop using it. And the whole premise behind this is that is a car seat that also converts into a stroller. So it's very great and easy to use if you're by yourself if you're running a lot of errands. Um, if you guys have heard me talk about one of our really good friends, um, Samantha and Jacob, they are expecting their first little girl in August. She's due August 5th, so she could come in July. And I'm hoping that she does because I can't wait to meet her. They actually have the Duna as their um, car seat. That's the car seat that they're using for her. And she is expected to be on the smaller side. So I'm going to bet that for them, they don't even need to get like a regular car seat for a while, like a big kid car seat um, for a while. Because I think Olivia Grace is going to be able to fit in it for a long time. Time. So the Duna is a good one. Um, and then also, full disclosure, Sam and I have actually been talking about this a lot. We feel like the bassinet, like if we could do it over again, we wouldn't buy the full Uppa Baby Vista V2 that has the stroller, the like that attachment there that's like for your kid when they're like four months old or older and the bassinet. We don't use the bassinet. We really didn't use it that much. And I actually am hearing a lot of people say they didn't use the bassinet that much. Um, so I, if I had it to do all over again, I actually would just buy the stroller that you're seeing on screen one because it's significantly cheaper. And I feel like the bassinet's just like, you can only use it for so long until they're a certain size. And maybe, you know, some people use it, I'm sure all the time, but for us, we just didn't. And then also the car seat. So I am between this car seat and one other one. Ezra is a long baby. He is super tall and he is starting to kind of look like he's a little bit cramped in his car seat. So we think it will probably be very soon that we are going to actually transition him into a bigger car seat. And what I like about Nuna is that this car seat that you're seeing on the Nordstrom sale, and then there's another one that's name I can't remember, that's not a part of the sale, have inserts from them from like when they're infants beyond. So even if he wasn't looking a little bit longer for his car seat than at least I'm comfortable with, he still is well within the requirements requirements and you know he's very safe in there. I would never put my child in a car seat he's not safe in. Although he does still fit in there, both of the Nuna car seats actually have so many attachments that it works with your kid from the time they're like, I think it's like eight pounds or 10 pounds up until they are actually big enough and old enough to then go front facing. And then the last baby stuff. So we do not have this exact um, like little play thing for Ezra. We have one that's similar though that he kind of like can sit in. Um, so we do have that brand that he is going to probably start playing with very soon. He has to hold his own head up though. And he's like very, very close to that. We do have that high chair because it comes very highly rated. And I actually have put both of the like little smock with the, uh, with the little like bowl in my wish list. And I also have like bowl plates, silverware, um, in my wish list as well for when Ezra does start eating solid foods and we do baby led weaning, which is just like, it is creeping up on us so fast. And it makes me so emotional to even think about. I am just noticing in the preview how dark it has gotten in here because the sky is black. It is about to fall out, but we are finished. So it is okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that it was very long winded, lots of footage, but I wanted to make sure I covered all of the things that I went through that I found and love from the Nordstrom sale. Again, I will continue to keep coverage here for you guys. I will have my video up soon with some looks for less, whether I find them from Amazon or Walmart, but make sure you're following me on Instagram, TikTok, my like to know it um, because that's where I'm going to be able to immediately like within minutes of seeing a restock I'm going to be able to have that up and you guys are going to be able to see it if it is something that you have on your wish list thank you guys so much for watching don't forget go below click the subscribe button if you're new here love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video